So I was working at a bakery and uh, they had these empty plastic drums that they were throwing out and I figured um, there's got to be some other way to deal with these barrels that I can maybe make use of. So I brought them home two by two and I collected them and then we recycled them into uh, rain barrels. It just grew from there. It went to 300, 500, 800, 1200, 2000 barrels and plus. I was uh, three years away from retirement and this was getting so big, I thought either I focus on this or I quit it all and just in three years take a pension from the bakery. I figured I'd quit and focus on this. It's not only keeping the plastic out of the landfill, but just the water conservation. For your garden, uh, you get nice soft water. Because you use less treated water, our treatment plants uh, has to process less water. So there's less strain on the water treatment plant. The financial costs and savings have been absolutely staggering for, on behalf of the city and uh, just for people's homes individually, personally, because you can reuse these barrels, refill and refill. The work is not very glamorous. It's dirty work. But to, to take a filthy, dirty barrel and to make them into a product that you can be proud of, also to see them all around the city, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. It's humbling in many ways because we're really behind the scenes people. We have no advertising budget. So to get that recognition, just even that, is very humbling.